Mesa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Carrie Harrington. Well, this weekend, Dateline School has been taking time to reflect back on the year 2014 and look ahead to the year 2015 educationally here in St. Clair County. To do that, our special guest all this week has been the superintendent here at St. Clair County, Risa, Dan DeGroo. And, and Dan, what kind of resolutions do you have uh, and goals have you set for 2015? Well, kind of some of the things we've talked about. Uh, our goal is uh, during this year to really turn Port Huron's IT department around and, and be a success there. Uh, to handle three key people leaving in the next six months and, and make that transition, that's, yeah, that's a significant part of our organization we'll be shuffling. Uh, you know, and maybe it's not a New Year's resolution. Maybe it's a Christmas wish. Uh, you know, I, 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 uh, Jamie Kane at Port Huron, uh, it is so vital for the county and our region that Port Huron schools prosper. Uh, you know, at RISA, uh, maybe we wish him uh, good luck at Christmas, and we're here to help in any way we can because uh, they have to succeed for us to succeed and for the other districts to succeed for people to want to come to this county. And he has a, a tough task ahead of him. Uh, their scores aren't where they would like them. Uh, I'm sure of that. And uh, there's some things he's got to deal with, but... Uh, Again, I think he's up to it, and he's put together a team. But uh, it is vital for everybody that they succeed, and let's hope 2015 is the year we see some uh, real changes and improvement there. I know you work with a lot of the organizations around the county, and, and it seems like right now St. Clair County and Port Huron are really on the verge of making some big changes, aren't they? Well, I hope so. I, I think uh, it had its critics, but the convention center has the potential. Uh, the d dual development downtown with uh, uh, Sperry's becoming a movie theater potentially and other things there, restaurant, and then the other project for the hotel. Uh, you know, it, it's like any county. Your county seat and largest city has to succeed. Uh, Port Huron has major financial issues. Fortunately, it's not ones I have to deal with. <laughs> but, but it impacts everybody in the county. And... Uh, they need to succeed. They need to get a handle on their budget. And uh, as long as we're wishing people well, we, you know, I, I wish the city manager well there. Uh, he's young, but youth must be served. I remind myself uh, he's no, no younger than I was many, many, many years ago when I went off to Lansing. So uh, you know, I wish them well and the council well. Great. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dateline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Research.